Since I got my 3D printer, this space here was always filled with filament and all kinds of stuff. So I built myself this filament cabinet with a nice transparent acrylic pane here so that I can see everything. And if you'd like to see how I built that, come on in. Hi and welcome, I'm Andreas. Today I'm going to build a fairly simple cabinet for my filament of the 3D printer. So obviously this is just going to be a simple box with a couple of features that are specific to storing filament. Just watch me doing it if you're interested and I'll explain a little bit about um, some further steps later on. Now, the body of the cabinet is finished and I'm going to start working on the door. Uh, I'm going to make it of, from these um, leftover large slats that I have from a different project. And it's going to have a window of acrylic glass so that I can always see what a filament I still have. Um, the acrylic is from today's sponsor, Kunststoffplatten Online. I'm going to put a link um, below. And um, this is an online shop where you can get all kinds of um, acrylic and other types of you know, plastic sheets basically. Uh, you can order them to size and everything so it's really handy and I, I have used them before and I'm very happy that they sponsored today's video. Um, so I'm going to put these as a sort of frame with half laps in the corners. Um, and then it's going to get a rubber seal with hinges that really press the lid shut um, so that hopefully um, the, the air inside stays dry with the second and, and no moisture gets in because that would harm the filament.
just realized um, that I have to add the pane first because um, these hinges, the, the plates for these hinges, they will have to go through the pane here um, and therefore that has to be in first so that I can, that I can screw these on on top of the acrylic pane. So this is the piece of acrylic that I got from my sponsor Kunststoffplatten Online. Um, it, they have a website where you can enter the measurements of the material that you want, you choose the material that you want, you can add holes and other um, features to it um, in the, on this website, you can choose how the edges will be treated if they're um, smooth or whatever. So um, it's very handy and very easy if you are into any kind of sheet material that has something to do with I say plastic, I don't know if that's the right term. Um, so check them out, there's a link in the description. going to oil the cabinet um, before I do the final touches. For that I'm going to remove the rubber seal. I needed that um, to get the proper distance but for oiling um, I don't want to get oil on it. Um, and then I'm really looking forward to doing sort of the interior stuff um, to really make this a filament cabinet but now first get some coat of oil on that.
Now, the filament cabinet is finished. Um, I had to change a few things because they didn't turn out the way I thought they would. So for example, I had these hinges that, have, that are spring-loaded and I hoped that they would be able to hold up the, the door um, by themselves, which they didn't. So I had to bring in these, um, whatever they are called, I don't know, to hold the door up. But I really like that soft opening that it creates. And the hinges had a second unexpected result, um, namely that they sort of push the door a little bit to the top and therefore they opened up a little gap here at the bottom. That's why I had to bring in the latches, which I didn't plan. Um, I don't mind, but obviously it would have been nicer um, without them. But this being a storage cabinet in my workshop, I don't really mind that much. Um, the, the handle here is 3D printed as well. It's the same shape as all my other handles here in the workshop. Um, I, the, the other ones I see and seed, but I didn't have any one left and I, it was too much effort, I thought. So for a filament cabinet, I thought, why not have a 3D printed handle? And of course, it has a moisture meter here um, so that I always know how moist it is inside. And I have printed these um, little containers um, for the second so that the moisture that gets into the cabinet is hopefully taken out. I want to keep this below 50% which is the, a good value of moisture for PLA and I have one spool of PT, PETG that should be stored at even lower moistures so I keep it in the bag with extra de second inside it. Overall I'm really happy now that I have a good place with this transparent window here um, for my filament right above the printer so I'm really happy. I hope you enjoyed the build. See you on the next video. Bye bye.